Hey everybody, welcome back to The Uncultured Whip. Today, we're coming at you with Zaharoff leather to back. And let's face it, we all know how George do what he do. Got that really nice looking presentation. Got your codes, got story time. Got the crazy good presentation. You hear? Clink. Call that the toughness test. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, sexy time. Yeah, yeah. So, um, George has, you know, Zahara to back. <laughs> Got stinky strips. Blink. <sighs> smells so good. I don't care what you spray this on. You spray this on a pig. It smells fantastic. Ah, it's so good. So let's talk about the brass tacks of it. George isn't killing everybody on prices. 155, two ounces. This stuff for fall, winter early spring, a mildly brisk summer evening. It, it's hard to beat it. It's so good. This is niche luxury without a niche luxury price tag. Okay? So you get your opening, you get black pepper, star anise, sage, plum, rosemary, and that goes by like pretty quick except for the black pepper kind of stays right there it's addictive to smell it and that tobacco just comes running right in with a little black tar and cumin and myrrh it really makes this good stew and then that Bulgarian rose that sits on it really makes us and this is where she goes into beast mode because once you got that that Bulgarian rose in there now you got something that sticks and it stays it doesn't go anywhere it just sticks and stays and your base, you get that really well-known leather accord that everybody chases and it exists in this fragrance. It is amazing. Like it smells like a fresh leather jacket. It just does. If you've ever bought a brand new leather jacket, this is what it smells like. With like a little hint of a cowboy boot. And that comes from the suede. Yes, leather and suede in one fragrance. And then you got the oud, which is also going to keep pushing it. So you get that crazy longevity. You're going to smell it off and on all day long, all night long. You know. And you get some sweetness from the praline and honey. And you get a little more staying power. Because it's all tied together with frankincense. It really is a fantastic scent. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is my favorite other than Signature Porom by Zaharoff. This is wonderful. All right. Hey, my name is Sean. I do fragrance reviews. So, hey, subscribe to my channel, would you? Come on. What do you have to lose? Nothing. All right. Thanks for tuning in. As always, hey, be good. Smell good. Use soap. It does miracles. Don't need to stink. It's, it's affordable to smell decent in today's environment, so do your best to not choke us all out with your stank. Buy Zaharoff. Not only because his fragrances are awesome, but George himself is a good human being. He's simply the best fragrance uh, business owner that I know. He is amazing. I love it. He's the kindest guy on the planet. Support the good guys. And trust me, you will not be upset with this. This fragrance right here is great. But as always, do not take my word. Find a way to get your own nose on it. Get a decant. Uh, oddly enough, you can't go like into a store and spray this. So get yourself a decant. Um, or... Literally, you heard the note break down. If that sounds like something you're into, if you're a fan of stuff like uh, 
red tobacco from Mancera or uh, Ombre Leather by Tom Ford. If those two are in your wheelhouse, this is 100% a safe buy for you. You don't need to worry about it. You're going to be extremely happy. You're going to be way happy. All right? Very cool. I'm going to get out of here. I will see you in the next video. It's going to be with a, a bottle that looks a little brighter than this, but from the same guy. Yeah, because I'm shooting a ton of videos on one day. All right? Catch you in the next video. Later.